Okay. okay. So again, this is our coach basics call. So I kind of wanted to just have an open forum and have you guys just ask any questions you have yes. you're struggling with. Um, and so if anybody has any questions, um, go ahead. I'm going to answer one quick question first. Um, Weasel asked today, how do you get people to jump on it when they're, you've been talking to them about it? She's like, I have people that want exercise with me and start working out with me, but I, they're not pulling the trigger. So when that happens, what I do is I say like, Hey girl, like I know that we've been talking about this and I know that you'll love it. I know you're going to be awesome at it and I'm so excited to do it together. And I don't know about you, but you know, it only takes 21 days to finish around. So the sooner we get started, the sooner you're going to freaking love your results. So what do you say? That we get and uh, makes this happen. So that's kind of like, I just kind of am saying like, I can't wait to do this with you. We're going to do this together. It's going to be so much fun. That kind of thing. And then you just kind of, and if somebody's like giving you the money, um, thing like, oh, oh, like, oh, oh, payday, payday. Um, then I kind of say, um, okay, well, when's payday? And I'm like, okay, I'm going to get that on the calendar. And in the meantime, you're going to work in our free groups, but come Friday, you're going to do it. No, it's <laughs> So I kind of am like pumping them up so that Anthony. Don't even need that extra motivation kind of thing. So um, any other questions that anybody wants to ask me about things you're struggling with? I, I do have a question. Is yeah. there payment plan options for people who don't want to jump on it right away? The only payment plan is if they go straight through Beachbody.com and you don't get any credit. So okay. Yeah. And when people are like, oh, well, I saw the payment plan option on the website. I say, well, actually, I don't get to be your coach that way, and you don't get an extra workout. So most all of our programs comes with an extra workout if you order from a coach. So and it's like a twenty dollar value. So I say, one, I don't get to be your coach that way, and two, you don't get the free um, workout that comes through buying, you know, it from me. And three you know, um, you you're not going to get the Shakeology because it doesn't come in a um, payment plan for challenge packs. They can't order challenge packs from the website. So, okay. Yeah. Any other questions? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Um, I saw on the, the coach page on the website that there's things called legs left and right and I'm not sure what that means. Okay. So one, I will tell you to write down Kayla Thomas. Anthony. Oh, no. She's awesome. And Emily, just go ahead and mute yourself until you actually ask the question. It's just at the bottom. You can um, mute yourself. Um, All right. I'm, I'm not figuring you out and either, but anybody who's not talking, just go ahead and mute yourself. Um, okay. So Kayla Thomas is um, awesome at describing things that are kind of confusing in like five minutes or less. So find him on YouTube. He's a beach body coach. Um, he's very funny, very humorous. He's adorable. So he's a great person to watch for that. But basically you have a right leg and you have a left leg. So you're up here, you've got a right leg and a left leg. And in the coach basics group, I think tomorrow is the day where I talk about legs a little bit too. But um, so you, you don't just get coaches wherever underneath you. You get to choose if they're on your right leg or your left leg. And you have one strong leg, which you, Ashley, is your upline. And so say you, it's whatever leg of yours you're on. So say you're on her right leg, your right leg will be your strong leg because as she adds to her right leg, those coaches are going to go underneath you. Okay, so it's just going to kind of make that leg stronger because as she adds coaches or, you know, if I'm adding coaches underneath her, um, basically, anybody in her upline, as they're adding coaches, they're going to go underneath you. So your strong leg is going to be whatever leg you're signed on under Ashley. So you can just ask her, like, hey, what leg am I on? And you can figure okay. it out. Or if you see coaches pop up underneath you, and, like, you go and you look and you're like, who is this coach? I don't know who they are. That somebody above you signed somebody on. They're not a personally sponsored coach, but it's cool because you're going to end up making money off of all of those coaches underneath you because you get paid for volume that's created underneath you. But if you're not doing anything to add coaches to that opposite leg, you're not going to make money off of that either. So that's why it's important to start adding coaches to both sides. 
because you have to have a little bit, you know, on your weak leg and some on your strong leg to get that volume commission. So once you start adding coaches underneath you, then you start making money off of, you know, that volume on your strong leg from your upline coach as well. So you have a right leg and a left leg. And to be Emerald, you have to have one coach on your right and one coach on your left. And maybe my hands may be opposite. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Though. Um, and so for, for one on your right and one on your left, that is going to make you an Emerald coach. And okay. for Diamond, you need four on your right, four on your left, and um, one of each of those on each side needs two coaches as well. Okay. So as you build your team, you're not going to just go a coach on my right, 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 right. You're going to want to kind of do right, left, right, left. And when you go sign in to your online office, there's a thing and it's called um, preferred placement. So if you go to like my downline and then you see a thing, it says preferred placement. So if I signed on a coach, Right then and there, I'm going to change, and they went to my right leg right then and there, I'm going to change them, my preferred placement to the left. So that, and then each time I sign on a coach, I change it. So I kind of go right, left, right, left. Unless, for example, I, when I signed on my husband, I didn't know this, but if you signed on a significant other or a family member that you have the option of working their business, you want them on your weak leg. Because you can work their business and build up your weak leg by working their business on that side. I didn't know that, and my husband's on my strong leg. So my strong leg just keeps getting stronger, you know. So anybody that you either think is going to be a rock star or if it's somebody that you have the option, a family member or spouse, a boyfriend, whatever, of working their business, you want them on your weak leg. Um, but if you already have a significant other on your weak leg and then you have another person that seems like they're going to be a go-getter, you may want to put them, so say this is your significant other, you may want to put them over here so that you can think, you can know you're going to have one emerald on each side that's going to, you know, be attracting coaches. So you kind of have to, you do, I do like, in the beginning, I do right, left, right, left, unless I'm like, this person's going to be an op, all rock star. I want them at the opposite side of my husband. So that they can get me to diamond, kind of thing. So yeah, I'm I'm really not good at describing that stuff. So Caleb Thomas. <laughs> okay, is that something? So you have to manually switch them back and forth. Yeah, I think it does, for the most part, right, left, right, left. But I don't ever trust it. And okay, I don't, I don't think you should either. So just manually go and and do it. Um, yeah, and then you don't have to worry about it. If for some reason somebody does go on the wrong leg, you have 72 hours to contact coach relations by email to switch it. And that's okay. coach relations at teambeachbody.com. You have 72 hours or it, if you put, if you put two coaches and you want, you could not move any coach once they have another coach underneath them. So say you added two coaches that day and you're like, Oh crap, that first coach I meant to move. You can't, you can only move the second one. So those are the two stipulations, but yeah. And congrats on selling two challenge packs today. You go girl. <laughs> Thanks. <Awesome. laughs> um, any other questions from anyone? Feel free. That's what I'm here for. Anything you're confused about struggling with, I'm happy to help. No question is stupid, I promise. <laughs> I have like a million, but I don't want to keep asking if somebody else wants to. Can I ask a question, April? Oh, it's yeah. Emily. Yeah, what's up? Is there any like specific way to actually get somebody to actually want to buy a challenge pack from you? Like something like, because I've been struggling because I've been telling a lot of people about like, all my and all that. Oh, Oh, was that me or you? I don't know. Not sure. <laughs> I don't know either. Like, I have a lot of people interested, but it's always with me comes to a money issue. That is so expensive, or I could find this on Pinterest. I don't need to spend this kind of money. Like, how can I make it so, like, um, like something they can't turn down? Okay. Are you following the 21-day fix script from the files? Have you located that yet? That's I don't think I have. That's a good idea. Look at okay. that. 
That is amazing. I honestly like almost follow that to a T. I obviously change it and you will change it too because it has like, does like my sister obviously and I use Melissa's results. So obviously you wouldn't say my sister. I say things like, oh my God, it totally taught, taught me how to understand food. I used to go to <laughs> Chipotle and ask for extra, extra guacamole. And now I realize that one serving is worth like two days worth of my blue containers already. So you can, and anything that you may have found, I encourage you to put that in because your real, like how 21 Day Fix has helped you, people want to know because they're going to relate to that. So there's two paragraphs in the 21 Day Fix script and it kind of breaks it down. The first paragraph, um, well, there's lots of writing back and forth, but the one longer paragraph is where it describes everything you get. So it's like you get the color coded portion control Tupperware containers, you can still have chocolate, you can still have wine, you know, you get the workouts and it describes everything. And then, and it's like, does that sound like something that would help you be comfortable in your, in your body or something? And then they're like, yeah. Okay. And then the next one you'll see it, it breaks it down. Like, okay, awesome. I totally think you'll love it. You know, and then it reiterates what you're getting and it tells you it's, you know, it's 160. It's normally everything's on sale. Everything is normally over $200. Um, sorry, I need to turn my sound off. Um, Everything is normally over $200, and so, you know, it basically comes out to $5 a day. That's what you would pay for a personal trainer in a week. So it's all about the breaking it down. Like, it's $5 a day, and, like, I might even say, like, I went to Panera the other day, and I got a bowl of soup and a cup of hot tea, and it was $7. So for me to get a workout, a meal, a meal plan, a private accountability group, a coach for $5 a day is, like, ridiculous. So I kind of – put it out there like that. And I think also comparing it, that's a week of personal training, you know, right there. People are like, okay. And I reiterate, you have a 30 day money back guarantee. You can reuse this program as much as possible. You're not in a, they're not locked into try Shakeology each month. So it's 160 one time and it's yours kind of thing. Okay. And it's in the files on your site, run pink, run happy. Yeah. It just says 21 day fix scripts. And I save that to my phone. I save it to my computer. Evernote, write this app down. It's Evernote, E-V-E-R-N-O-T-E. -E. It's amazing. It syncs with your computer and your phone. It's an app on your phone and just go to the website. You can save documents and then it, it syncs with your computer and your phone. So you can do them anywhere. I do my product links there. I do scripts there, all kinds of good stuff. Okay, I have to check that out and save it to my phone. <laughs> yeah, it'll help you really understand how to talk to people because it, it's just like a guideline. You don't have to like verbatimly spit it out. You know, if somebody, if I say, what's your biggest struggle? You know, the fitness side or the nutrition side? And then they say like, oh, the fitness side with my kids, yada, yada. Instead of going to the next conversation piece in that script, I'm going to say, oh, how old are your kids? You know, yada, yada. So be sure to still insert in like more personal talk in there too, but it's a big, big help of knowing how to talk to people. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? I have a question. Yeah, what's up, Maggie? Um, how do you not overwhelm people with information right off the bat? Because I want to tell them about like each program and let them pick, but I think that's too much information, mm -hmm. but I don't feel like pick for them. I agree. So that's why I do the 21 day fix script. And I say, what's your biggest struggle? You know, the fitness side or the nutrition side, that question right there. If they say nutrition, 100% it's 21 day fix. If they say, you know, my eating's pretty good. It's really just the fitness. Then I might say, what kind of workouts do you like? And then kind of judge from there. Like if they say like, well, I love Zumba or, you know, something where if I love yoga or Pilates, then Tayo would be their thing. If they love like boot camp style, I would say Insanity or 21 Day Fix. If they love lifting, P90X3 or 21 Day Fix um, kind of thing. My hands down honest opinion, if anybody wants to lose weight, it's 21 Day Fix. That's what I tell everybody, unless they're like, no, I just want like a fun workout. Like, you know, then maybe I'll go somewhere else. But my honest opinion is once they have the 21 day fix and the portion control and everything, then they can choose other workouts. But I feel like honestly, like everybody needs 21 day fix it. Honestly, like I'm not, it changed my life. Like 
I, I was eating clean before and just not seeing results. Turns out you can't have carbs with every single <laughs> time you eat. Like, I had no idea. Just because it's quinoa and sweet potatoes and it's clean. Like, I had, I had no idea. And I was eating, like, a shit ton of fruit all the time. Because I had heard, like, one time, like, well, Weight Watcher says fruits are zero points. So I can have <laughs> as much as I want. Um, so, yeah. So I, I honestly usually always tell anybody that wants to lose weight 21 day fix. But when you give them too many options, they're like, I'll get back to you. And then like, you don't hear from them kind of thing. So do you recommend Shakeology with? I, did, I only heard you recommend Shakeology. With every workout? I always, I always, always, always talk to people about the challenge pack. And if they, because... Honestly, my clients usually lose about five extra pounds with Shakeology, and I tell them that um, per month. And I say, you know, you can do it if money is absolutely an issue. I say, okay, well, your other option is to, um, you know, try the try it without the shakes. It's fifty nine ninety five. Will that fit your budget better? And then we can give a try the Shakeology next month. There's something always on special, so maybe next month you can try the Shakeology and. You know, usually for 10 or 30 yeah. extra bucks, you can get something really awesome with it, too. So I can let you know what specials we have. And I give that option only if somebody's like, absolutely not. I have so many bills. I 100% can't afford it. Then I say, okay, I totally get that. Emphasize with them, you know, and then say, would you want to try it without the shakes? The other thing I do is if somebody's like, oh, I love to, but I just have to be cool payday. I say, okay, I totally get that. Let me tell you what is. And, um... I write that down in my planner and then I get them in a free group. And then, I mean, if it's two weeks away, I'm not going to just randomly message them two weeks later. Like, Hey, happy payday. You want to give me your credit card? You know? So what I do in the meantime is I will send them, I'll just Google like a 21 day fix recipe or go on Pinterest or something. And send it to like, Somebody to mute them. <laughs> It's not my son. It's not my son now. <laughs> I think it's uh, Samantha with her twins. Or, well, I don't know what Samantha it is. Actually. Yeah, it's me. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> She's busy with her baby twins. Um, yeah. So just go ahead and, and mute yourself until you ask questions. Um, so yeah, and but I, I stay in touch with them and just say like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for you to join us here. I was meal prepping and I found this recipe, so I just wanted to hand it to you so you can save it for when you're ready. So you're staying in touch with them and make sure you say, oh, kind of thing. Okay. Thank you. Dogs and babies everywhere. I love it. <laughs> um, I just got a wild dog. <laughs> Jesse, you have one or two. Am of I them. muted now? Um, no, I can hear you. Okay. How do you mute it? <laughs> um, on the bottom left, it says there's a microphone. It says mute my audio. And Maggie, I am cracking up that like like the corner of your face is just popping okay. out over here. <laughs> I just like see your little eyeball like. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so I can. Oops. Okay. Um. Does anybody else have any questions? Feel free to ask. This is the time. I have a question. Yeah, go for it, girl. Um, what do you do when like someone's like, yeah, I'm interested. Yeah, I'm interested. Uh, let me get back to you. Let me get back to you. Let me get back to you. Basically just, I guess, like wait or just keep messaging them. Um, do you have them in the free group yet? Uh, yeah. OK. Um, have you talked to them about the money part yet? Yes. Okay. So were they like, let me get back to you. I don't know if I want it or let me get back to you. I don't know if I have the money or what? Like I have to save up the money to get it. Okay. So what I do is I kind of do the same thing. Um, I will like send them some 21 day fix recipes here and there. And what I also do to some people that really want it and just start saving, I say, well, I don't know if you're interested or not, but I'll add you to our, um, you know, like our, our 21 day fix group for five days. You can kind of get the hang of it and see how, you know, how awesome the accountability is. And, you know, if you don't purchase by the five days, I'm just going to remove you. But as soon as you do purchase, I'll, I'll add you back. 
So, you know, they can kind of get an idea of what kind of rate accountability it has, and you can choose whether the biggest loser or the meal prep 101 um, group. Okay. But just, I mean, just keep in contact with them. Some people genuinely don't have the money, and some people get the money and then forget about it. So as long as you're just checking in with them probably once a week, and like you can like Google a 21 day fix recipe or Google some type of like home workout or something and just send them, keep creating value because that's gonna make them wanna come back to you. Okay. Anybody else? who always got Emily, Samantha. Um, okay, I, one thing I'm gonna talk to you a little bit really quick is organization. And so you may have a binder, you may do whatever. I have, this is like my notebook, okay? It's just like a, a ring binder, whatever works for you. Some people would rather do it on the computer. I am just like, I do so much from my phone that that's not gonna work for me. But what I do is each day, each group I have a new page for. So like the seven day clean eating group, I have a page for that. And I write every single person I add so I can check in with them. And those are also people that I'm gonna consider, they're on my list and I make sure they get on my list too. And those are people I'm gonna to continue to follow up with. Now, another thing, I started doing this in August and I can't tell you how helpful this has been. So I do, like right now, I do April 21 day fix prospects. And anybody I have talked to in April about 21 day fix, whether they told me no, whether they never responded, whether whatever, if I started to talk to them about 21 day fix, I write their name down. And I do the same thing for coaches, April coach prospects. I'm talking about the month, like not my name. <laughs> so um, I write everybody down. So that's really helpful because when our um, five day coach sneak peek group comes along, you can go through every single person that you've ever talked to about coaching and have them signed up and say, hey, I don't know if you're interested, but we've got a five-day group, and it just kind of tells you what we do as a coach. And I would love for you to just check it out and see if it's for you. If it's not, no big deal. But, I mean, it would just be really cool because I think you'd be amazing at it, and I'd love to have you. You'd be like, yeah, sure, whatever, add me. Um, and then the 21 Day Fix, it's awesome because at the end of the day, you're going through and trying to get more prospects. All those people that you've already talked to about 21 Day Fix, are somewhat interested. So it's not an entire new forming process. You're like, hey girl, I know that we talked a little while ago. Um, I don't know if you're still interested or not, but we've got another 21 day fix um, or 21 day fitness and nutrition boot camp starting back up. And you know, maybe it wasn't the time for you then, but I'd love for you to join this group this round um, kind of thing. So I do that a lot. And even if we don't have a group starting. One, you can always create one. Feel free to start your own. Two, I just pick like any Monday and I'm like, we've got a new group starting April 16th. You know, they don't know that not everybody's starting at the same time. We've already got an ongoing group. So um, I just kind of pick like a Monday, like two weeks from then and get them excited about it and say, I don't know if you're interested or not, but I'd love to have you. We're starting up another group. It's going to be awesome. I know you'll love it. And people are like, oh, thank you so much for thinking of me. Whether they say no or yes, they're like, that's so sweet of you. Thank you. So even though you're like, hey, I really want you to get on board, they're like, oh, she was thinking of me. That's sweet. So that um, really helps a lot, too. Um, what else do I do? I have a, a page where I write down Instagram people that I kind of have been working on. So, like, cause I, it's so hard because I, I do use Instagram. Um, it's an awesome app. You can try a three-day free trial. It's instagress.com, and I set it to follow and like people, and so I have a lot of people I'm following. Sometimes I go through and unfollow them, but it follows them, and they tend to follow me back, um, but the people I actually connect with, I write down their Instagram name so I can, like, on a weekly basis or every couple of days talk to them, and then what a lot of times I do is I kind of go and, like, like a couple of their page photos, comment on some, and then I usually just say like, oh my God, I'm pretty sure we should be BFFs. Are you on Facebook? And I just say it like that. And I'm like, Wait, are you on Facebook? Like, I, I would love to connect with you there. Not like, hey, I have an accountability group that you should join on me on Facebook. Like that's lame and annoying. And I hate when people do that to me. I'm like, did you not tell that I was a coach? Really? I don't want to join your accountability group. So I kind of like just connect with them. And then I'm just like, oh my gosh, we, I just stalked the crap out of you. You're awesome. Are you on Facebook? Because I think we could be BFFs. 
And as lame as that sounds, it works every time. You're like, oh my gosh, yes, add me. So just trying to really create um, uh, relationships. So I write them all down too. Um, and then I write down like the biggest loser group for April. I write down everybody that I've entered into that. Um, our free group, I write down everybody. Let's see, I think that's kind of it. And um, I write down everybody I add to the coach sneak peek group too, so that I can follow up with them. And what I've also been doing is I write down all of the coaches I sign up that month and all of the 21 day fixed challenge packs I sell that month. I have a separate page for that too. Just because that's, I don't lose customers that way. I go, I look at that page, you know, every, probably once a week and I check in with them. Hey girl, haven't seen you post a lot in the group. How's it going? And that helps a lot because one of my biggest struggles was like just selling challenge packs and forgetting about people. And like, it's terrible and I don't want to do that. So I had to find a way to, to stop forgetting about people. The other thing I want to talk to you about, oh, you probably can't see this. This is my Shaco reminder. Um, you can do it on your phone. I like to have a form, um, probably can't see it and it's super messy. So it says the date, says their name, says what they bought, like 21 DF is 21 day fix. And it says what flavor of Shakeology they have. And then it has their reminder date. So um, I remind them a week, three weeks after they buy or a week ahead of before it comes out. Some people, like Kelly, our upline Kelly, I know she puts it in her phone. I don't like junking up my calendar, and so this works for me. But if you write it down and you don't check it every day, it's not going to work for you. So pick something that works for you. And I used to tell people right away and they would cancel it right away and I never had any residual income. And now I message them a week ahead of time and they're like, oh my God, I love it. Yes, I just want to try a different flavor. Instead of being like, oh shit, I don't want this auto ship. I'm going to cancel it right now. So that's another thing I do. So Question now. Yeah. So if you tell them like a week before and they still don't want to do it, are they able to cancel it then? Oh yeah, sorry. So I say like, hey, just want to let you know that your auto shipment comes out on X date. Um, if you love it, you don't have to do anything at all. If you want to change flavor or cancel it, just let me know and um, we'll get that taken care of for you. If they want to cancel or if they want to change their flavor, they log into their account and then they can change it that way. If they want to cancel it, they email coach relations. Oh, wait, sorry, sorry, ignore that. They email customer service at teambeachbody.com and just say, I want to cancel my Shakeology auto shipment. What I also do a lot is if people are like, oh my gosh, I love it. I'm so excited. I say, well, right now you can actually do an awesome, um, um, it's on sale and I'll either tell them about Pio for $10 extra or the Beachbody on demand challenge back, which basically they can stream over a thousand workouts anywhere from their phone, their computer, or whatever. So for, so for 10 extra bucks, they can get a challenge pack, and you get two points. But they have to cancel their auto shipment first. Otherwise, they'd have two Shakeologies coming, and you, wouldn't, you don't get success club points if they have it, if they're already on HD or the home direct. So when I tell them that way, I have them do a chat with um, customer service because that's instant. When you email, it's like, who knows? It might be like three or four days. So there's a link um, in the files that says like Beachbody customer service and it has the online chat for customer service and coach relations. And um, we have 10 minutes. Um, and so, um, yeah, so I go in there and I have them do a live chat with customer service, cancel it right away. And it, it's like instantaneous. And then they could even buy the challenge pack that night and you get two success club points and it's pretty awesome. So, yeah. You said they can them every demand. What? You said they could do it with the on demand as well? Yeah, there's a challenge pack for the Beachbody on demand. It's just 140. So it's 10 extra bucks and they can log into Beachbody on demand workouts for they get 3 months access with the Beachbody on demand challenge pack. So for 10 bucks they get over 1000 workouts streamed live for 3 months. It's a pretty good deal. Jesse, were you going to say something? 
Ooh. Yeah, do you remind them every month or just like their first month? I just remind them their first month. If they buy a challenge pack again, I rewrite them to remind them again. Okay. Um, I kind of start, if somebody's like, oh my gosh, I love it. I start their name and I rewrite them because if I can get another challenge back out of that, I'm going to. So sometimes people that if I've got them to, they're like, I love it. And they buy a challenge back. I'm like, well, maybe I can sucker them into this again, you know, <laughs> and get two more successful points. So I do write them again, or maybe they will be a coach for a discount coach. And I'll want to remind cancels every month. I'm sorry, what? No, I was just, I have a girl that cancels every month and then reorders the three-day refresh challenge pack. She That's does a three-day awesome. refresh like every month. Yeah. That's cool. So I just wasn't sure if, like a her, I would keep reminding, but I wasn't sure about the others. Yeah, and she, you may, she may even be a discount coach too. I'm working on it. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I think we only have probably like uh, seven, eight minutes left. So any questions? Mm, Marissa, I know you said you had some extra and other questions. Go ahead. Yeah, I was wondering, do you, would you rather want to get coaches or participants to make more money? Coaches. Coaches are going to build your money so much faster. I waited probably like two or three months to start building my team. And I was so good at selling Chickology and doing this and doing that. And I was like, oh, I don't need coaches. I got this. You know, and now like, I always talk to people about coaching because that's 100% where you're going to start seeing your um, paycheck grow. Because right now, everything you sell challenge pack wise, that's the only money you're making. Mm -hmm. If you, once you start getting team underneath you, you get money from them. And once you start looking at the team cycling bonus and stuff, there's a video in the coach basics group about that too. That'll help with that. But like right now, my paycheck is about 80% my team cycling bonus, right? When you first start, it's everything you sell. It's all up to you. But the sooner you can get coaches underneath you and build your team, the better. And once you hit Emerald, you can then sign up for free leads um, by signing on for the Team Beach Body Club membership. I always tell my coaches to cancel it because otherwise you'll get charged $40 quarterly. But when you're Emerald, it's worth it because you get all kinds of free leads. Well, not all kinds, but a good amount. <laughs> so like with the whole discount coach, like I was, I was telling you earlier, I have a girl who has everything that came with the 21 day fix challenge package, but just not the Shakeology. And she wanted to get the discount as being a coach. So well, I wasn't really sure how that actually would Okay, be. so to sign on as a coach, if you don't buy a challenge pack, you have to pay $40. So if, if she wants Shakeology, it's going to be, she's going to have to pay $40 to sign on and then she'll get the discount of Shakeology. So it'll be about a hundred bucks. So she's still spending $140 anyways. So she should sign up with either Beachbody On Demand or Pio Challenge Pack this month. And then she'll get the 25% off each month after that. Oh, okay. I see what you meant. So uh -huh. have her get a different pack that she's actually getting something else. Yeah. Other than the forty dollars just for signing on. Right. She might as well get something for it. Okay. Mhm. Mm Anytime anybody buys a challenge back, they are automatically enrolled in Shakeology auto shipment. Just so you all know that. Okay. Five minutes. Any other questions? <laughs> So once they are have the challenge factor and they have the auto ship is when you're saying that you should remind them that it's going to be auto ship to them so that they can cancel it or. Yeah, I don't do that for coaches because in my welcome email it has like, uh, by the way, you're going to be charged 1595 a month. You're going to be enrolled in auto shipment. You need to cancel your um, um, Team Beach Body Club membership, but anybody else, yes. And customers aren't automatically enrolled in the Team Beach Body Club membership. It's only um, coaches. But I forgot to say this: anybody that orders um, the a challenge pack gets 30 days of. I'm sorry, my computer is making noise. Um, gets 30 days of Beach Body On Demand free. 
So no matter what challenge pack, if they order, they get 30 days of Beachbody On Demand. So I make sure and tell them that because they can try other workouts too. So maybe they're just getting the three-day refresh, but they'll have a month of Beachbody On Demand. All challenge packs have 30 days access to that. So that's another selling point to that girl too. Does that go for coaches as well? I believe so, yeah. And anybody that has the Beachbody Club membership, that's what gives you access to Beachbody On Demand. So if you're Emerald and above and have Beach, Beachbody Club membership, you have access to it. If you just, if you haven't canceled your Beachbody Club membership yet in your first month, you should have access to it too. Okay. And if you do it, like take, have somebody take a picture of you and like make a post about it. Like I had one uh, girl, her husband's in the Navy and he was doing it like on his freaking ship and she made a post and it was so cool. So, yeah, okay, it's telling me my internet connection is unstable. Cool, I've been fighting with Time Warner all day. All right, um, three minutes, anything else? Any other questions or anything I can help you with guys? Okay. I'm sure I'll think of more. I might have to message you, but right now I can't think of any. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And I mean, honestly, anytime you have any questions, just post in the Remping group. It's awesome because like you may have a question and somebody else may think about it three days down the line. But if you just up your, ask your upline or me, then we're going to be constantly doing, re-saying the same thing. So that's why I love the Remping group because it helps other coaches too. So don't be afraid to post in there. Um, check out the files in the Run Pink group. Start your binder, whether it's like a three ring binder, start printing stuff out. Just, you know, read things as you go. You're not going to learn everything all at once. Um, you know, subscribe to some good YouTube channels. Um, um, Doug Fitzgerald is also really good. He has a um, playlist called CEO to CEO training. Doug Fitzgerald, he's awesome. There's like 11 videos. They're all really helpful for the business. Um, and then take a look at the coach onboarding process. Basically, if you haven't listened into a getting started right call yet, I have a recorded one, listen to that. And then make sure you get all your coaches into the coach basics group in the coach basics group. I have the entire posting schedule of all 25 posts. So if you got added on day five and you're like, oh my gosh, I have to look for all the day 24, you can just go into that document and look at all of them. Um, and then there's, so, I mean, honestly, if you just, it's five minutes or less like every day, but the coach basics is like little things right now that we're saying back and forth. Like that's what coach basics is like little things that I can't get out when you first sign on a coach. Cause if I told you everything, you'd be like, I quit. Never mind. <laughs> so definitely plug into the coach basics and plug all of your coaches in and explain. Like I tell people like success club is non-negotiable. Coach basics is where you're going to spend 80% of your time. So um, we have less than a minute, so I don't want to get cut off. So thank you so much for joining. And I want to start doing this once a week. Um, hopefully, maybe next Tuesday we can do it um, before I head to Cancun. So um, I will post the recording and tag any of your teammates or success partners that couldn't make it tonight, okay? All right. Thank you. No problem. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.